hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to adapt a basic trouser block to a high waist trouser pattern here is my basic trouser block okay this is the this is the front block okay and this is the back block if you are here to watch our video tutorial on how to draft a basic trouser block i'll drop the link in the description box go ahead and watch that video before you come to watch this so you can understand every processes of drafting a basic trouser block okay if you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe kindly hit on the subscribe button click on the notification bell so that you can get awareness for our next uploaded videos okay back to our tutorial for the high waist trouser we need the length of the trouser from the upper waist to the ankle like you have seen in the picture and then we need the circumference of that point okay like you have seen so after taking those two measurements those are the two measurements that we will need on this new trouser pattern okay this trouser is going to be a dartlet a dartless trouser so the first thing i'm going to do is to close the waist darts on this block and then we'll go ahead and extend the waist now the length of my high waist trouser is 40 inch while the length length of my basic trouser is 37 inch so 40 minus 37 is 3 so 3 inch so that i'll be increasing the height of my trouser at the waist by 3 inch so i'll first come to the waist and close the dart this is my waist dart so i'll go ahead and close the dart because it's going to be a dartless trouser you can choose to impute darts in your own this is the back dart you know we drafted both front and back blocks together before we later traced out the back block and cut it out so this is my front waist dart so i'll close it from the side towards the crouch like so and then i'll tape it down with my masking tape okay i want to seize the seize this opportunity to say a big thank you to my subscribers on this channel thank you thank you for the love thank you so much so i'm closing the waist dart like so with my masking tape and then i'll place this block on another pattern paper like i said you can choose to impute that in yours if you want that but this is going to be dartless so i'll pick another pattern paper place this on another pattern paper like so and then i'll come to the waist area remember the difference between our high waist trouser length and the basic trouser length is 3 inch. So I'll come and extend the waist height. I mean the trouser height by 3 inch from the waistline. Like so. So on each point I'm going to mark 3 inch like so. So I'll connect the measurement with my ruler. So on this new waistline, if your waist circumference for the high waist trouser is different from that of the basic trouser, you are going to take that measurement on this new waistline. Okay, so let's assume your basic trouser waist is a 28 inch and that of your eye waist is 30. So you go ahead and measure the circumference of the eye waist on the new waistline. So first you will extend the crouch line like so. You extend it to the new waistline. And then you start your waist measurement, your new waist measurement from this point to the side. Okay, so you take the measurement like so from that point. You take it from the crouch line to the side and then you extend you you blend it to the previous waist measurement 
so on this line you just take your new waist measurement and then mark whatever your value is and blend it to the previous waist but here my waistline my waist measurement for the high waist and the basic trouser is the same thing so i'm just going to blend my measurement to the new waistline like so because they are both the same but if yours is different measure like i said mark your measurement and then you blend it to the previous waist measurement so i'm going to cut this out now this is our high waist trouser pattern for the front bodies so i'll do the same thing follow the same processes for the back pattern so i'll pick so this is our front pattern for the high waist trouser i'll pick the back block do the same thing that i have just done place another pattern paper first close the dart like so hold it down with my masking tape i'll hold it down with my masking tape and then follow the same process that we have done place another pattern paper underneath this and then do the same thing so that brings us to the end of today's tutorial if you want a, a dart on yours you can extend you will not close the dart you extend the dart to the new waistline all right bye